the Associated Press is reporting that the FBI is investigating clergy sexual abuse in New Orleans. And this is a really unusual foray for the FBI, which historically has uh, been unable to find federal jurisdiction to prosecute clergy sexual abuse cases. The Mann Act essentially applies in these cases when there's an allegation that children have been taken across state lines uh, and molested uh, or sexually assaulted uh, by these priests. Um, and in the current investigation, uh, these are uh, allegations involving priests taking children to camps in Mississippi, uh, amusement parks in Texas and in Florida. And if the federal, if federal authorities can establish jurisdiction, and also that this happened, the Mann Act has no statute of limitations, so they uh, ostensibly could move forward with a federal case. The investigation has reached a very important juncture because federal prosecutors in New Orleans are now considering whether to seek access to a trove of thousands of secret church documents. And these records spell out uh, interviews with uh, accused priests. There are uh, church records about priests being transferred to different parishes. And advocates for the victims have long referred to these documents as a sort of roadmap to prosecuting some of these priests. At this point, you could see anything from priests being charged uh, under the Mann Act to a broader prosecution that involves uh, potentially people uh, within the church. Um, and that's a little bit more complicated at this point. I think the federal investigators want to see that roadmap uh, so they can understand, um, you know, what, what church leaders knew and, and when they knew it. And if there were claims of abuse that, um, you know, fell on deaf ears within the church.